Hey everybody, Daniel from the little difference teamtld.com.au. It is 9:30 on Monday the 4th of July, exactly 168 hours after my first weigh in. So I've just got back from the gym. Uh, something important I didn't mention to you last week is to keep every weigh in at the same time, trying to replicate the same moves. So I've gone to the gym this morning. I had a protein shake. Um, I've come home. The first thing I've done is changed my shirt and uh, hopped on the scales. So we're looking at the fat percentage here: 19.3 percent. Last week I was 21 uh, percent. That was my weight. Let's look at weight. Bust. Okay. Um, 112.7, I've already lost, what was it? Let's scroll back to last Monday. 115 flat. 112. Uh, you do the math, but that's a loss, and that is fantastic. It's not a loss, it's a gain. I have gained health. Let's look at my fat percentage. 19.3%. Let's look at last Monday. 21.2%. Again, that's another win. Muscle percentage for last week. You see this was last Monday flash in the 27th. Um, 86.2. Fingers crossed I've gained some muscle. 86.6. How's my hydration today? Very important. 59.1. How was I last Monday? 57.9. So... For all those that say, oh, that's just water retention, that's not true. I'm actually, I have better hydration today, which, uh, so I'm clearly not dehydrating myself to lose the false weight that um, uh, people will do pre-competition or to bumper the scales. Uh, visceral fat is 7 kilos. 6 kilos of visceral fat today. Uh, all that means is that I've lost one kilo from my stomach, and what else did I lose? It was 12, uh, so I've lost two kilos. That means I've lost a kilo from somewhere else in my body. Let's more, most importantly, let's look at my biological age, um, see if I'm getting any younger. I'm now 24, look at that, in one week of eating healthy and reducing my unwanted weight, increasing my exercise, I am five years younger. That means I'm going to live approximately five years longer which is one of the most important reasons why, why it is um, advantageous for you to live and eat healthier and make smarter choices. My calorie consumption, 2741. Let's see what I was last week, whether I can maintain 2738. So I can actually consume more calories to maintain this weight, and that's probably because my muscle has gone up, my fat has gone down, my um, uh, resting uh, BMI... Uh, BMR, sorry, basal metallic rate is uh, is going to be hotter. My so my metabolism is increasing. That is fantastic. Um, as I said, the Tantia scales they're absolutely priceless. Um, so helpful for a weight loss journey. Um, again, looking at my weight today is 112.7 kilos, and that's in seven days of eating better, making smarter choices. I'll just flip that around. Okay guys, as you can see, um, that is a, that's a huge pat on the back for myself. Um, I've actually had a pretty enjoyable week. Only two or three times have I, and I wouldn't even say struggled, but I've missed, uh, I love ginger beer. Uh, it's one of my favorite drinks for uh, chilling out. Um, no, I haven't really missed alcohol. Um, and uh, because I'm positively sabotaging myself, I'm really not getting that hungry. As I said, it's only about three times three times in 168 hours where I have missed um, the convenience of a lazy lifestyle of eating whatever I want, drinking whatever I want, whenever I choose, rather than being that little bit more disciplined and planning ahead. So I hope you guys are uh, going as well, or if not better, um, than my current um, 
current uh, goals are. Um, look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for all the emails, um, the uh, compliments, and the feedback. Um, this, these, uh, this video diary is all about you guys, how I can help you achieve what you want with your own health. Um, I'm just letting you know how I am doing it. Um, so again, that's uh, Daniel from The Little Difference, teamtld.com.au. Keep the comments coming. I appreciate your feedback, and I hope that this is helping you because I heart my health. See ya.